Cathay versus Zinch. We've got a land battle on our hands. CA have sent me this footage. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play it myself. But we'll talk about what we can see with the Cathay army, the Zinch army, and Warhammer 3 in general. And the first thing you might notice here, which I just clocked, is that the hot air balloon only has a one directional aim. So it can only aim and shoot at what's in front of it, which seems kind of weird for a hot air balloon that can see all around it all of the time. Bit weird, but just a thing I noticed. This looks like what's maybe a typical kind of Cathay army. We can see some artillery pieces and some missiles setting up. There's those crossbows, there's a couple of crane gunners, those kind of long range Jezail type units. A bunch of frontline swordsmen we can see going in here using the terrain, using the rocks. We got some halberds to defend the flanks. A couple of terracotta sentinels in there. And of course, Miao Ying, the storm dragon lady. So this looks like the kind of typical Cathay playstyle that one might expect. Quite defensive, using that range, the artillery, the missiles, and battering the enemy before they reach you. In a similar fashion to Dwarfs or Empire, Vampire Coast perhaps. And there's a Zinch army approaching, we can see with all their blue magical barrier bars. There's blue horrors, pink horrors, there's some chaos spawn, some doom knights, the flying disc cavalry, if we can call them cavalry anyway. We can also see a soul grinder in here. There's some exalted flamers, a lord of change. We see some fiery rain coming down here in a hellstorm rocket battery style. That's the Cathay fire rain rocket artillery. A couple of those on the field. They should do nice damage to clumped up infantry. Although we can notice that the range of the fire rain rocket is only 360, which is, if you compare it to the hellstorm rocket batteries, 480, kind of short in comparison. So it's not quite as long range as what the Empire have, but I'm sure it makes up for that in various ways. Maybe it's cheaper or maybe it has more damage or a quicker reload time. And we're about to see old Miao Ying turn into a dragon form here. There she goes. I wonder if there's actually a reason you might not want her in dragon form. Perhaps if there's a lot of missiles, you might want to bring her down so she's a smaller target. But otherwise, I don't know why you'd ever be out of dragon form unless there's some kind of downside. But we see some Cathay magic about to go off. Talons of Night. You can see some dragony looking talons start coming out the ground and slapping things. Visually very cool. A lot of cool visuals in Warhammer 3 from what I've seen so far. Another magic buff coming off there. Some Zinch magic coming in. A magic missile. Attacking that Wujing war compass. That thing capable of some long range spells. Amongst other things. Not quite sure of it completely yet. But it looks like the Doom Knights have just charged in and routed some of the missiles there. Kairos is coming in, the Lord of Change is coming in. That strong flying game of the Zinch army coming into play here, disrupting the missiles a little bit. That's going to be important when facing Cathay. If you let those missiles fire, they're probably going to mess you up. Miao Ying coming in with an Earth Blood though, healing up some of the boys. Seems to be holding up okay with this defensive kind of playstyle. I wonder if there'll be the option to play a more aggressive playstyle with Cathay. If you bring some of their cavalry, you've got that option. It's not like dwarfs where you simply just don't really have the choice. You got the infantry, you got some cavalry, you got the terracotta sentinels even, the dragon. So you got some you got some rush power there potentially. It'll be interesting to try and make that work. You can see a bunch of Zinch missiles coming in from the blue and pink horrors. And one thing about the Cathay army is that they have the yin and yang mechanic where yang units are pretty much any melee focused units and yin units are any missile focus or ranged focus units. And if they're near each other, if you've got yin and yang units near each other, they actually buff each other up to a certain point. I think if you have two units near each other of both types, then you'll get the maximum effect. You get extra melee defense, I think, extra leadership. If you're a yang unit, a melee unit, or if you're a yin unit, you'll get reload skill. So faster reloads, essentially, and a buff to leadership. So it's going to pay to have a mixture of yin and yang units, melee and ranged units to make the most of that mechanic. Nice Zinch spell coming in there. Our hot air balloon is getting plastered by pink horrors. Still got our crane gunners though. They're popping off here and there. It's a shame we can't see a little closer what's going on, but the Lord of Change is having a fight with Miao Ying at the moment. The Zinch army is kind of overrunning a little bit, making it hard to use all of those missiles. Everything's a little all over the place at this point. And the barriers mostly seem down for the flying units of Zinch that have charged in. A lot of the pink and blue horrors have still got their barrier. Some flame of fire coming in on the right there. Missiles are very disrupted. Those Chaos Spawn are nearly done though. Just needs to form up and get those missiles firing. They've got a lot of ammo. The formation was maybe a little too tightly packed. Somebody get this man my noob's mistake guide. You can see the Flamer flaming in on the right here, hitting that Sentinel. 
And I don't know if you'll catch it on the unit card there, but the damage on that Exalted Flamer's attack is 1.5k. 1, 1,500 damage, the Exalted Flamer's ranged attack. Absolutely disgusting. It only has 10 base ammo though, I think so. It will be somewhat limited, but still the potential to wipe out a couple of units with that. There's that Dragony Claw spell again. So a lot of the Zinch units kind of staying back. This is obviously the AI that we're facing here. They seem to be staying back and using up a lot of their missiles and charging in their flyers and their mobility to just kind of mess us up and distract us while we get shot to bits by all the pink horrors and things. But it seems like the Cathay army maybe needed to spread out a bit more, but then we have the question of if you spread out too far, are you going to lose those buffs with the yin and yang thing? So I wonder how tightly packed the Cathay army will need to be and how much they can really push the offensive and whether a rush build is really viable because a lot of the stuff they do have is quite slow. Even the hot air balloons and the terracotta sentinels, all they've got that's quick is some cavalry and some flying cavalry and that's it, just a couple of units. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they play. The same with the Zinch army as well. They seem like they could have a pretty unique play style with the barrier thing and maybe a skirmishy style. I don't know. It's going to be hard to say until we get our hands on them. But it's always exciting to get new armies and playstyles to mess around with. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of builds and things people come up with for online. What's going to be the new cheese? What's going to be the Warhammer 3 cheese? Is it going to be the triple Big Bird build? Kairos and two Lords of Change? Will that even be possible? Will unit caps limit that? Will unit caps be changed? So many questions. Big Zinch spell coming in here though. On these crossbows. Does a fair bit of damage. They still got a good bit of ammo though. But it looks like the Cathay boys and girls are still holding on and they should be able to get this mostly the large left and a few horrors for the zinch army so could they have held well in this one still got a fair bit of health left and a lot of units as well fair bit of ammo too those crossbows didn't really get to do anything they've still got all of their ammo for the most part but that is what a defensive heavy possibly typical Cathay army will look like and what it will play like you'll need to be setting up using defensive formations using the terrain well to get a defensive position You'll want to be spacing out, but not too much because you've got to make use of the yin and yang. Looking forward to seeing how it all works and how it all translates in both campaign and multiplayer because they are often quite different. But there we go for this battle. Cathay is looking like they're going to take it. Favor Bar says they've got it. A few horrors left, a few demons waver away. They will be banished shortly, but there we go. What do you reckon? Do you like the look of the Cathay army in action? Do you like the look of the Zinch army in action? I do have a bunch of other videos going up alongside this one of other armies. We've got a Zinch battle, we've got an Ogres battle, got some roster videos as well. There's lots to look at at the moment. Soul Grinder here, just about to be finished off. Meow Ying in there, she's been doing some work, she's been busy. Kairos is still going though, but he is about to crumble away. He has been banished, down he goes, does a little bit of a swirly gig, and he's down. But there we go, hope you've enjoyed this, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the future.